Hello, I'm Dr. Philip Blum of Patient-Centered Neurology. I hope you find this educational material useful. One of the most common concerns I hear from my migraine patients goes something like this. My headaches are so horrible, I'm worried that I'm going to have a stroke. This presentation is going to discuss the relationship, if any, between migraine and stroke. On the surface, it makes sense to wonder whether migraines could cause stroke. After all, the headache is very severe and there are other symptoms of migraine that cause people who suffer them to be debilitated and unable to function. Moreover, everyone knows that many strokes are accompanied by headaches. Similarly, and perhaps even more worrisome, Many people wonder whether their migraines are a symptom that they are suffering from a brain aneurysm. Let's discuss migraine and stroke first. There are two types of migraine, common migraine and migraine with aura. I have another video on this channel that discusses migraine versus migraine with aura more extensively, but briefly, if you don't already understand aura, it is a neurological symptom that precedes the migraine headache or accompanies it. The most common aura symptoms are numbness, tingling, and difficulties with a change in vision. There are many others. The most useful study for understanding the relationship between migraine and stroke is the Women's Health Study. This study was published in 2005 and was a gigantic study of health issues in women. Migraine is not a disease isolated to women, but the risks that were conceived in the health study are common to both women and men, and the study remains instructive for both. In this study, nearly 40,000 women aged 45 and over were studied for about nine years. Five years was the average. The most important finding in this study was that the chance of suffering a stroke was the same for people who have common migraine as it is for people who have no history of migraines. The chance of having a stroke in people suffering a migraine with aura were higher than those who do not have migraines. The increase overall was about 50 percent compared to those who do not have migraines. However, overall the rate of stroke was so low that this additional risk was tiny. Let's get a little perspective here so we can understand how much we should worry about this risk of stroke in patients with migraine, whether they have aura or not. The risk of stroke is very low in young and older adults. Of course, the risk of stroke rises the older we get. For perspective, this bar on the left represents only a 1 in 100 chance of an event happening in a single year. In comparison, the chance of suffering a stroke in patients having common migraine or no history of migraine is the same and is very small. The chance of having a stroke in patients who suffer migraine with aura is slightly higher but as you can see is still very small. Unfortunately, our risk of suffering some form of cancer or being seriously injured in an accident are significantly higher. Okay, so what about my risk of brain aneurysm when I have migraines? Firstly, it's important to understand why we even worry about brain aneurysms. And the reason is that the aneurysm could bleed into the brain and cause brain damage. The Women's Health Study which I just finished describing to you, also looked at the risk of brain bleeding from aneurysm and all other causes. And the chances of suffering from brain bleeding was the same in this study for people with a history of migraine or no history of migraine. Okay, so we migraine patients are off the hook then, right? Well, hang on a second. Brain aneurysms do cause headaches. And those headaches sometimes resemble migraines. Studies that looked at patients who did suffer aneurysms also considered 
how frequently and what type of headaches they were suffering prior to having the aneurysm. And in fact, they did have more headaches and some of them were quite severe. The main difference in patients who suffered aneurysm was a pattern of accelerating headaches or distinct or dramatic change in the character of their headaches from a previous typical character of headaches. So reviewing the relationship between migraine and stroke. People with migraine have the same risk of stroke and brain bleeding as everyone else. People who suffer migraine with aura have a slightly increased risk of stroke but overall that risk of stroke is still very small. Accelerating headaches or a dramatic change in the character of headaches can be a symptom of aneurysm and should be looked into promptly. And that's a good summary of the relationship between migraine and stroke. I'm Philip Blum of Patient-Centered Neurology and I hope you benefited from this education material.